not surprise me. Ah, chapter five. Welcome to chapter five. Uh, gracious sire, this is madness. You should not expose yourself to such danger. Wait here and allow me to summon a stronger force. Nonsense, Velarad. This is my city, the capital of my kingdom. Damn it, I rule this land, and I refuse to creep around its corners. Uh, gracious sire. Silence. You know you might as well wipe your ass with those intelligence reports. I want to see it with my own eyes. Non-humans attacking! Uh, protect the king! Turn, sire. I trust you are not too late. Your kingdom is in need. You should know kings are never late, Jacques. Sire, flames engulf half the city, and the blood of your subjects fills the gutters. This is no time for word games. You must act. What do you propose? Allow me to command your army, and the freedom to do as I see fit. Never. Over my dead body. It was close this time. Next time, I might arrive too late to help. I've seen enough. Velorad, back to the castle. In in Wolf's the what Witcher. What is he doing here? He dropped in. He seems to have a talent for that. What shall I do with him? He'll come with us. I have a matter to discuss with him. So. Witcher of Rivia. Sire, I am honored. As I'm sure you surmised, I have not summoned you here out of whim. A serious matter weighs upon us. A curse binds my daughter. I want you to remove it. I have gathered all who might offer aid. Duet has been the princess's adjutant for the past half year. Velarad has known Ada since her childhood. And Triss Merigold is here for her extensive knowledge of magic and female intuition. Mm -hmm. Consult them and think upon this matter. We shall speak about it again soon. As you wish, your highness. In the meantime, equally urgent issues demand our attention. I'm listening, sire. Witcher, imagine returning home from an excursion against a monster, a Kikimor, for instance, only to discover your home a whorehouse. Your Highness. I'm not finished. Those you left in charge failed you. A traitor threatens to oust you from the home of your ancestors. Wouldn't you be angered? Would you not elect to shed more blood? Forgive me, sire, but we witchers don't meddle in politics. Yes, the famed neutrality. Alas, that is a luxury I cannot afford. Both sides chose my city as a battleground. Both will be duly punished. I understand, sire, but how can I help? You could start by being more enthusiastic about aiding a king. You could offer to slay whomever I choose. Forgive me, sire, but... Silence, witcher, before you say too much. Rulers don't enjoy being refused more than once. I'm certain you're right, sire. I must attend to some urgent matters. Speak with these excellent minds. Gain their insight. And don't forget my daughter, Witcher. I'm counting on you. I won't forget. My servant will summon you when I have more time. What do I get for helping you? All right, I guess we have to have some conversations. Geralt. I was worried about you. I worried too. I'm proud of you. Heard how you fought for Alvin. Horrible things are happening in Vizima. True, but the king has placed me under his, um, protection. Tell me, where's Alvin? Uh, Alvin vanished into thin air one day, despite the amulet I gave him. Vanished? 
That's awful. He might be anywhere in time and space. I had hoped the amulet would block those abilities. I hope he'll be all right. Triss, I've been thinking about us. Oh, Geralt. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. I love you. I want to be with you no matter what. Love is the sole thing of beauty in these rotten times. Geralt. I could change, take fewer risks. We'd find Alvin, live together. I'd build a house. A house? Nice dream. You could breed horses and sheep. I'd tend the garden, cook meals. We'd sell what we grew to buy copper pots, iron rakes. We'd age with dignity. Evenings you'd play bagpipes of your own making as a remedy for my gloom. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to... Geralt, say something. I can't lose you. I'm here. These are trying times. We just need to survive. We can dream again when the madness passes. Triss, I... I love you too, Geralt. To the end of time. Well, that was nice. Let's talk to this asshole. Yes. Witcher? Count. No titles, please. Let us bury past misunderstandings in the name of a greater cause. So be it. Geralt? What the hell is up with his twitchy eyes? It's kind of creepy. Hmm. The king wants me to lift the curse that holds Ada. Not surprising. You succeeded once, though it nearly cost you your life. The Striga's appearance possibly spells the end for Foltest. Many say he offended the gods. Remember how she first became a Striga? Remind me. As a youth, Foltest had quite an appetite. So much so that he plowed his own sister. Their child died at birth, but then continued to grow in its coffin, only coming out to feed. Then you arrived and broke the spell, though apparently not completely. The Striga's reappearance proves the royal dynasty is cursed. The people are sensitive to such signs. No wonder Foltest wants you to kill the Striga. I thought I was supposed to lift the curse. You are to keep the Striga from becoming an eyesore. The chance of removing the curse is minimal. I've heard a rumor of an additional reward for killing the Striga. I'm not interested in rumors. You should be. It's your choice, Witcher, but give it some thought. Farewell. Good day to you, Count. That's just rotten. Greetings, Geralt. Greetings, Velarad. I saw you uh, speaking with the king. I gather it was unpleasant. It could be worse. Geralt. The king told me about Ada. Dreadful. You warned us it might return. Uh, can you break the spell a second time? We'll see. You seem to remember last time well. Certainly. You stayed from dusk till dawn in the old manor house where the Strigger had her sarcophagus. Kept half the city awake with the noise you made. We uh, went to the manor at dawn and saw the two of you lying on the floor by the sarcophagus in a pool of blood. You were barely breathing, but the princess was cured. With the traitor Ostrid dead, the king was overjoyed. Who was Ostrid? He cast the curse out of jealousy. He loved the king's sister. Hmm. Many victims this time round? I don't know. These days, the corpse is like thicker than flies on a pile of manure. Know where the Striga sleeps in daytime? No, but she's been seen in old Vizima. Uh, she may hunt there. Removing the princess's curse will be risky. True, but the king has ways of encouraging you to do it. We'll see. Do what you will. But remember, Foltest loves his daughter very much. I know. Geralt. Geralt. Aren't you a bit afraid, Velarad? The king looked irate. At me? I'd watch what I say if I were you. Hmm. I've served Temeria all my life. If they condemn me, I'll hold my head high as I walk to the gallows. Farewell. Gentlemen, this is no time for synchronized dancing. 
ruffian. Screw you, I'm not a ruffian. I kill you. Interesting. Going to our journal. So we've got a few different things here. Make sure we didn't miss out on any further conversation. Tamaria will be victorious! Okay, dude, be quiet. No reason to be so loud in here. No need for yelling. We shall a star, a witcher in my native Beauclair in the Duchy of Toussaint. A witcher once spent an entire holiday feast dancing with a sorceress. Not I, my lady. I dance rather poorly. Hmm. Do all witchers have white hair? No, my lady. I am alone in that. Perhaps I am confused. Regardless, I do have a certain matter for you. How can I help? Très bien. Mon dieu. My three cousins recently fled the city due to some uh, unfortunate coincidences. Did they incur the king's disfavor? Of a sort. I wish to send them some coin to alleviate their situation. Understand? Perfectly. I'll act as messenger for an appropriate fee. Ah, parfait! My cousins Corbin, Bus, and Ramoreau sought refuge in the swamp, in the caves there. Please deliver 300 orens to each of them. As for my fee... My cousins will give you a receipt. Take these to Ovizima, to the captain of the mercenaries, my fiancé. He will reward you. Farewell. Alrighty then. Talk Sir, to the minister. Do not interrupt my thoughts. Can I get outside? Maybe it the appears they want me to stay in here. Can I go this way? Let's snag. Oh, never mind. Our merciful master won't permit you entrance. He'll send for you. I see. All right, looks like we're still hanging around. Yeah. Long live Foltis! Yerbader! Fair. You got nothing to say to me? What about you? Do you have anything else? G Don't you fear the king's anger, Duet? Wherever did you get that idea, Witcher? Foltest looked pretty pissed. He said something about bloodshed. Obviously, he spoke of the blood of traitors and non-humans. He might finally dispose of that failure, Velerad. Farewell. Geralt. My endgame with Salamandra draws near. I know. I'd like to help you. How? Have you heard of Gnomic Armor? I'd need a skilled armorer to remake it. Someone with great knowledge of metals. Hmm. Kalkstein. He's an old Vizima. He's certainly not short on knowledge and would help you. Oh, now we have to go back and talk to Kalkstein? What do you think happened to Alvin? Frankly, I never guessed he'd bypass the Dimeridium. That would be a feat for many sorcerers. Mm-hmm. Clearly, he has enough power to teleport himself anywhere. Perhaps even through time. What do you think about the situation with Ada? She's a Striga, Geralt. We both know that curses don't cast themselves. Any theories? Years ago when you first removed the curse, you ordered the princess to wear a necklace with an inclusion. Juniper, broom, and hazel branches were to be burned in her chambers. Don't tell me. Someone replaced the necklace and added crap to the fire. Yes. Someone close to her who knew the secret. Bellarad might know something. So you think I should aid the king? Definitely. In a sense, I'm a political prisoner. I could teleport away, but that would be highly inappropriate, and I still have a few matters to settle here. Namely? I can't tell you. For the time being, my position is tenuous. If you help Foltis with the Striga, maybe you could vouch for me. I could resolve a few things and go free. How about it? If that's what you want, Triss. Thank you, Geralt. Sounds like a plan. Anything else to say? Yeah. I've nope. All right, here we go. Our merciful master will see you now, sir. Go upstairs to his chambers. I'll okay. Go immediately. Off we go. Excuse. 
Snagging a save. Mm. There he is. No. Better. Witcher. Your Highness. No need for titles. Speak freely. You've had time to think. What's the prognosis on removing the curse from my daughter? It's possible. Could the curse have returned by itself? Unlikely. Someone must have cast it again. Should you succeed, would... Would Ada's mind be that of a child? I don't believe so. She'd likely recall all that occurred before her transformation. You don't believe so? You're not making this any easier, Geralt. Do what you can to remove the curse. Failing that, you may slay her without fear of retribution from me. When I last gave you my trust, you did not disappoint me. Thank you, sire. Don't thank me yet. Should you learn who cast the curse, tell me and only me. If you succeed, I'll grant your every wish, within reason, of course. If you must slay her, do it quickly, cleanly. If you fail, and my daughter suffers, those dear to you will suffer too. I understand, sire. Good. Sire, another disease consumes your kingdom. What would that be, Witcher? I have been investigating an organization known as Salamandra. My daughter dealt with them, stupid girl. I regret I ever departed. To your credit, Venerad said you thinned their ranks considerably. I trust you shall finish the matter. Exactly my aim. One last matter, Witcher. Forgive me, but I had you followed. I received a report about your personal life. Your Highness. You must know that I hardly did this out of lewd curiosity. My spies report that you are romancing Merigold. I need to know if there is anything more to it. Hmm. Triss and I, we're close. That's no one's business but ours. No need to be rude, Witcher. I too loved Adder's mother. They forbade me from marrying her. But I hope you fare better. At least as a mutant, you need not worry about pregnancy. If you desire to go to Vizima, talk to my Chamberlain. I shall be away from the castle for some time. See Velorad about any other needs. So I shall. Farewell, sire. All right. That kind of sets us off in the direction for the final chapter of the game. We got things to do. So let's get to it. Now, it appears I cannot go down there. Let's go back into the other room. Chamberlain? Yes? Let's take a little nap. Things to be done, but there's also napping to be done. Ooh, we've got a golden talent now. What to spend it on? This is where things start to get real nice. Kind of weighing my options here. Might have to go with that one. Endurance regeneration plus 30%. That's pretty awesome. Having sign intensity is nice, but being able to cast lots of signs is what I'm more interested in. I found myself popping uh, endurance potions constantly, so always a good idea to have lots of them. Sign intensity. It's only for less than 25% vitality, so I don't know if I'm interested in that. I prefer to put my points into things that are working all the time as opposed to only some of the time. Could raise the chance of incineration. Let's look at this. And we'll reduce the cost of casting Igni. It's better to sink your points into a select amount of things than, than to spend them on lots of different things, in my opinion. We'll just dump it into that. Not a whole lot of useful bronze things at this point. 
bronze talents. So we're just going to sleep it off, and then we should be able to leave. GTFO! Need to go back and talk to that guy again. Ruffy. He was right around the corner. Yes? 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 I'd like to return. Are you ready, sir? I am. Let's move! Back into old Vizima. Alright, here we are. Go into the journal and decide what we want to start with. So I guess we could start just kind of revealing the map here a little bit, and as we go along, we'll talk to Cockstein. 